if Singapore is opening again, is it time to buy REITs? So that is what I wanted to address in this video. Why did I suddenly have this topic in mind? Is because uh, the day I went to Tiong Bahru Plaza, right? Tiong Bahru Plaza is uh, one of the buildings inside Fraser Center Point Trust. I am not a shareholder of that, of that, uh, of that REIT, but uh, yeah. I just went to get my bread and the human traffic was almost like back to the times where before COVID came, right? So I'm kind of glad that uh, yeah, uh, Singapore is opening up even though uh, there is the Omicron variant coming in. So I'm not sure if it's going if there's going to like derail and anything, but uh, it's at this point of time, I just wanted to document down so that uh, you can learn also. Uh, my thought process and also build your own uh, reads uh, framework okay um what happened exactly is um yeah singapore opening up again would you buy reads and um moreover recent i think within the as at the point of time of recording i think december the first i think the first week of december there were some uh minor price move price movements downwards of course it's not uh that kind of like huge correction but as you know, sometimes it can get a bit uh, itchy hands when you store too much bullets, right? What would you want to do next? Is there an opportunity cost uh, to the cash that's lying in the bank? So at the end of, uh, by the end of this video, right, uh, I want to help you to be able to answer if you could buy your buy more of your reads, right? Here's where we jump to the main segment, okay? Uh, definitely looking from a business point of view of reads, right? First thing, we really want to make sure is that the revenue or so-called the rental income of a REIT keeps going up. So basically, there are only two variables. One, either they buy more buildings to increase the net letable area, or the second one is increasing the price per square foot. These two variables uh, may not be applicable to all REITs because I don't remember seeing it in Capital DC. I'm also a shareholder of a Capital DC REIT, uh, but today I'll just be focusing between uh, my more read okay two reads Sunnex, Sun, uh, Suntec read and also capital Commer uh, capital integrated commercial trust with these two variables I know that uh, for Suntec you know uh, it hasn't not say it hasn't been increasing the NLA but I was looking more for this uh, price per square foot I looked through the two business two sets of business results that was for Q2 and Q3 and one of the things that uh, I discovered here down here I'll just put the picture okay we can see that the rent reversions are going up and the occupancy rate is going up so if these two variables uh, upward trends can address those two variables net letable area which is amount of people be, uh, amount of space being occupied and the rent reversions allows us as investors to know that hey uh, PSF is going up I'm just foresee, uh, foreseeing that perhaps in Q4, uh, the rental revenues for uh, Suntec REIT should go up. If you find that you find a similar situation uh, in your own REIT, probably consider monitoring uh, the business results for Q4. Once probably if you find that once Q4 uh, results continues uh, to go up and you see a uh, consistent occupancy rate and also uh, positive rent reversions uh, just take note rent reversions definition uh, can be defined differently for each week so please do some homework on that uh, on that point okay uh, practice some independent thinking that with these two variables uh, that I mentioned in this video uh, occupancy rates yes I'm a broken record I always keep talking about occupancy rate the second one is the rent, re uh, rent reversions. Is it going upwards? With these two, uh, let's monitor the business results of, of our own REITs in our own portfolio and see whether uh, that could give you a clue to whether you want to buy more about, of your share, uh, of your REIT. Uh, if you like this video, my request is a bit different. Probably put this video and construct a REITs playlist for yourself so that at least uh, when you need to go through the concepts again you have that playlist ready at hand on youtube so they can refresh your memory